Alliance Group, and she joins me this morning, joins us this morning. Good morning, Dot. Good morning. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to talk to you. It really is. And so uh, hopefully you've heard by now that new real estate law that's kind of going in effect here down the road. It's got a few kinks still to go through. Uh, but what does that mean for real estate commissions, and how does it affect you as the realtor or even this buyer and the seller? Yeah, so I think one thing that's really interesting is to see how the conversation has played out mm -hmm. um, online and on television. And there is um, a really interesting narrative that isn't exactly accurate. Um, that comes as no surprise. <laughs> I think people like to cling to the things that are exciting or insatiable. But um, to kind of set the record straight, mm -hmm. one thing that's really, really exciting about being an agent in North Dakota, and I think both buyers and sellers should take comfort in, is we've been doing things right for a long time. Mm -hmm. And this lawsuit really is getting other agencies across the country to kind of catch up to us. Mm. Um, and so that comes down to buyer agreements. Okay. And so if you have purchased a home lately and you've worked with an agent, mm -hmm. um, they've walked you through what a, a commitment is to working with them through a buyer's agreement. Um, and that's something that's been missing. And, and it was a yeah. shock to me as an agent that we don't have these across the country. Um, but, but the buyer's agreement walks buyers through the process of representation and then also compensation to an agent. Um, so I think a lot of agents in town are trying to get people to understand that the impact on us isn't as significant as people outside of the state of North Dakota because mm -hmm. we've just been doing a really good job educating representing and being ethical when it comes to transactions. So what you're saying is obviously there's value in a realtor and you have to go through all the legal jargon. There's a lot that I can't comprehend, right? Yes. But for example, you're saying a 6% commission that you're making is negotiable and that's kind of what it's coming after. Well, and I think that's kind of what the, the news is kind of grasping yeah. is the commission that agents get paid and the 6%, which is standard, you know, in, in our state and around the country. Um, but a lot of people don't understand where that 6% goes and, mm -hmm. and, and how it's distributed. Um, and, you know, up until this point, and I don't anticipate major changes, just the way that we're doing the mm -hmm. business, not the business itself is that typically a seller would list their home and they are paying a 6% fee to have that transaction facilitated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep in mind that statistically, when you list your house with an agent, you make 26% more than you would if you're selling it yourself. So okay. if you're working numbers, I would pay the 6% <laughs> to get an additional 20%. Right. But what happens then is when you list your house and you agree to a 6% sales commission, when an agent brings a buyer to that home, the way that that agent gets paid is taking a portion of that 6% commission at closing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how it functions. And, and the way that it's working right now has been very advantageous to all parties, mm -hmm. um, particular buyers, because one of the biggest challenges when you go to buy a house is down payment, right? A lot of people don't have money yeah, right. saved up substantial enough to cover the closing costs or down payment. And as a for instance, you know, the average savings account holds about $5,000. The average closing costs are sixteen thousand, and so to you know kind of turn right. this upside down and have an expectation that buyers bring to the table that full amount becomes a really big challenge um, and makes it that much harder for sellers to find potential buyers because it shrinks the pool of people who have you know a bank full of money to bring to closing. Uh, Dot, we're out of time, unfortunately. Oh my already. Gosh. I know. So July first, that takes place, or give or take, right? Or well, it's there? still being considered. Okay. Yep, it's still being considered. But what I would say at the end of the day, don't pause to purchase. Have right. conversations with That's your agent. Get for it. sure. Absolutely. So there you can find Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Alliance Group for more information. Reach out to Dot. She's super <laughs> friendly, I promise. <laughs> Thanks, Dot. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Keep it here. We have...